Welcome MFL viewers to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Angeles Dam take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Six-yard gain. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. League. Second down and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like play. And that's a first down. 
Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that? Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. You've got to catch that. Third down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a mile. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He picks up a two. up seven yards right there third and two and that was a perfect pass and he scores handily Kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He 
it's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and a very lot. Third down and, well, good luck. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Hey, the dog thing snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and eight to go. And that's the work. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. I want to see if he's crying. Third down and the punter is warming up. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? they just be called... It's good. Think I shown my card. It's at the midnight. 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Second down and five. Oh, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Brandon. You're right. Yeah, man. And it's first and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Right. I gotta take a dump. Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, uh, it's the nachos, man. Want some? <laughs> Second down in a lot. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He refuses to go down. Oh, good run. He nearly broke.
broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit. And they stopped the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. Take it out mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soylent beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff deadlocked in a tie game. Bricks, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm gonna disagree. I'm gonna say a tie iron in your face. Well, that's a good point. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll continues to climb. the quarterback just like that okay go back him get on get on the up get on up get on up third down and well good luck oh and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down First and ten. Welcome to the Great Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm taking a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy dough. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just gonna rip your head off and get out of here. Thank he you. did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. It's 
First and ten. Second down in a lot. That's a gain of 10 yards. Third down and three. Hot one, hot two, hot comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expect. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he's running like a move. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Oh, boy, that. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh that, well maybe looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the qb oh it's the sticky ball dirty trick ah oh, pass the popcorn grim zoom in on his face then his crotch i want to see if he cries or pisses himself first and it's first and ten when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Was it a catch, though? Yeah. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Yeah. And it's first and ten.
want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't oh, nobody light a match. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing first down and three Catch it too. Third down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turkey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that, is that kind of brain? He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. 
and it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh... <clears throat> So 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, with the punishing hit! And it's first and ten. You know what that means, right, Brex? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. Second down in a very lot. And they run it for a couple of yards. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what, you're married? Mm, it's complicated. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. It's good. I think I showed my The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your head. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Strike lightning twice. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about?
He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brett's match stumpsy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zephyr, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. First down! It's the Eagles declaring victory today! Man, looks like I'm declaring bankruptcy! I've been on the wrong team again! The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.